Hi, Michael here with another armchair tech tip. Today we want to talk to you about how to remove that roller bath on your system to clean it out. It's an important piece of maintenance that I think often gets overlooked and we want to be sure you understand when to do it and how to do it appropriately on your system. So take a moment, let's go for a little hike into our back room. We're going to walk through this with you and give you a good idea about how to take care of this maintenance practice in your facility. Come on back. Hi, welcome to our back room. So we want to continue on with our discussion about how to remove and clean the roller bath assembly on your polyjet systems. Now there's multiple ways to access the ability to drop the Z stage depending on the technology that you have. One of them is that if you have access to the maintenance menu, you can go under maintenance menu, motors control, and you can drop the Z stage down so that it's out of your way. Another option from there is that on some of the menus, they have a lower Z stage right on the main options tab. You can find the access point, drop it from that place. The third, which is probably the best overall for all the technologies, is to simply tell your system to trigger the head cleaning wizard. By doing that, it will move the head over, it will drop the Z stage down, it will do everything to prepare you for this, and it doesn't require any special deeper menus to access that. So we're gonna go under our system and we're gonna tell it with the menu for head cleaning to position itself and get ready to do the roller bath removal and cleaning process. All right, so for a closer dive into this area of the system, tools that we're gonna need. We're going to need our 2.5 and our 2 metric allens, a lint-free cloth, some alcohol, a little container to catch the alcohol, and those wonderful Q-tips that you've probably been wondering, what the heck are these for your entire time you've had your system? We're going to learn about that today. So with that, taking my 2.5, I'm going to disconnect the four connectors attached to the UV assembly that's covering up the roller bath. We will loosen up the first Allen. We can pop this light assembly up and off. In fact, I'll just take it completely off and give me easier clearance to get it out. Just rest that off to the side. With that, we're going to take our two and we're going to come in here and we need to remove these two Allen screws right here. That will remove this little shield. Once the protective shield is out of the way, you will notice that there is a suction line that runs right down through here that drops all the way down into your roller bath. Now we need to completely pull that up and out of the way. You'll notice that there's two Allens, these two screws, once you just loosen them, you don't have to remove it, just loosen them, you can pull that tube up and out of the way so that it clears your roller bath assembly. Then there are two captive Allen screws that are actually holding the roller bath assembly in place. So we'll spin those loose. Let the Allen get stuck nicely in your rubber glove and then you can pull the bath out. And as you can see, in this case, you can actually see that there is a bunch of residue material still in that roller bath. And what we want to do is using the alcohol and being very careful of the blade that is across the top of your roller bath assembly, spray some alcohol down in the roller bath and then use those Q-tips to get in there and gently clean and remove that material. Keep my hand out of the way here so you can see what's going on. All right, round two. Getting in there and again, being very careful with this blade, the blade right through here. I don't want to be very aggressive on that top surface because that's what's running across that roller, pulling off that little bit of material, giving you a nice, clean surface to build on 
for your next layer. And then I'll also check the back side just to be sure there's nothing back here. Might be building up. Give that a rinse. And voila, we now have a clean roller bath assembly. And you'll notice on the back side there's two holes, one here and one here. This assembly is actually pinned into place. And so you don't have to stress about the location of those two screws. Simply gently put it up there, you'll feel those two pins. Grab a hold of your roller bath, and then you can tighten back down these two attachment screws. Snug. And snug. There's no reason for me to over tighten these. I'm just trying to keep the roller bath in place. Important, please don't forget this. Drop this suction tube back down and make sure that it's all the way down contacting the bottom of the roller bath. If this isn't in place, we won't be able to remove the material that the roller bath is trying to get out of the way. Once that's down, tighten up those two screws again. Again, no reason for me to over tighten anything, just snug them up. We're going to put our shield back into place. One, two. Snug these up. Keep my glove from getting bitten. Snug, snug. Finally, we'll take our light. There's a tab in the back of the UV lamp. Here's where the screw's going. The tab will slot into that location. Take my screw. Start this. Maybe. Got it. Hey, real world. Snug that up. Reattach my electrical connectors. Everybody's attached, snug back up. Those are for the lights and the fans. Everybody is plugged back into place. That's the process. It's pretty straightforward. You know, as you can see, even the little quirky nature of me doing this after all these years, you know, it's, it's not that time consuming to go through. Um, but on the same notion, it is something that's really important to take the time to do. Uh, we encourage you at least once a week on some of these higher end systems, depending on the material, the Agilis, for example, uh, the digital anatomy printers. The digital anatomy printer, that needs to be done every single time you run a job. And again, it's really important because of the material that's in there can be sticky and can build up in that tray. So make sure that you clean this appropriately. Those are the steps to go through it. I hope this helps. At this point, I'm gonna just simply close the cover to our system, I would go through the wizard, let it rehome itself after I use the cleaning wizard to put it into position, and we're done. So that's our video on how to clean the roller bath on the high-end polyjet systems. Now, for the low-end ones, being the uh, object systems, the 30s, the 30 Pros, the 24s, things like that, those systems have a completely different approach to how they're clean, and we'll do a separate video on that. 
But for all the big box systems, that's the process you go through to clean the roller bath. So hopefully that little demonstration gave you a pretty good idea about what to do with removing the roller bath, maintaining it, and cleaning it on your PolyJet system. Please like and subscribe to this video. Look down below for our website and other current tech data. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day. Bye.